Hey everybody, yeah, Curious here, welcome back. Alright, so, finally got my pants on. <laughs> I guess the guaranteed way to get a lot of comments and a lot of uh, viewer interaction is just to, like, pick up a piece of clothing and then not put it on. I wish I could say I did that on purpose just to spur a lot of uh, comments, but uh, I didn't. It was purely my mistake. So, anyway, thanks for all the uh, reminders and let me know about that. We're going to grab those matches and, and those gloves, we might use those. We're warming up slowly here inside this cave, four degrees Celsius. Um, a few guys mentioned that, uh, you know, going behind the, uh, uh, through the cave system behind Signal Hill would have been a better, like a more direct route. Uh, this is the one I'm comfortable with. And also, um, I thought the the transition zone at the Carter Hydro Dam, uh, the bear would, you know, be tough to, to deal with there. But uh, someone mentioned that it doesn't spawn in there, so. I'm hoping that it doesn't spawn in transition zones, including Ravine. Because now I kind of wish I'd gone that way. But uh, I thought that he would. And it would be very bad for us. So that's why I didn't go that way. Oh, we'll take a little bit of that. That's always good to have. Yeah, we don't really need quality tools for this particular mission. What have we here? Now yeah, we got a thin wool sweater. That's what we have there. Energy bar. Thanks for all the support when it came to the uh, sponsorship, too. I was really, like, nervous about that. I was like, I don't know how well received that's going to be, but you guys are awesome about it and really made me feel a lot less awkward about the whole thing. It still feels weird, but anyway, I do appreciate it. I'll probably drop that. I have, part of the thing is I have to to do the uh, sponsorship uh, ad, like, once in the, in the, in the beginning somewhat of, of each episode and... So when we get to the other end of this cave, I'll, I'll, I'll do that and then continue on from there. But anyway, thanks a lot for that. You guys have been extremely welcoming uh, when it comes to this series. Very supportive, so thanks. All right, let's get going here. So we got lots of coal everywhere. Too I don't heavy. think we, don't think we need too much. Yeah, we're gonna be heavy. We'll get to the end of the uh, the road here, and then I'll just uh, drop what I don't need. Uh, maybe we can find... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong key. Maybe we can find, like, a crowbar or something here. Maybe not. Uh, poor dead guy. Alright, we'll head back this way. Well, at least it's nice being uh, nice and safe inside this cave. I know I'm stepping over a lot of coal and picking up some. It's kind of random. But, uh... If I picked up every piece, we'd be... We'd be extremely heavy by the time we got there. Not, not that it really matters. All right, let's see what we can find here. Got some newsprint, some scrap metal. I want to leave the scrap metal. We really don't need that. Some cloth, firearm cleaning kit. We might need that. I don't know what the state is going to be of the rifle when we get it, but uh, it might need a little cleaning. Maybe it'll be 100%. Hopefully, it's 100%. Oops. Look underneath there. And two of these are locked, so I don't... Yeah, we don't have a pry bar. See that backpack down there. Be Some beef jerky. Nice. And we'll continue on. So, I was also made aware that... I knew that the new downloadable content's coming with the new region and the new characters and all that stuff. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But uh should be out around the end of December or started, started next year, somewhere around there. And uh, a few guys cautioned me that uh, the update for that will break all save games. So it's kind of good that we're doing the challenge now because the challenge I can start and stop in between. It's a little easier to do it sort of piecemeal. I already have one of those. I wonder if this one's better. This stuff will come in handy. Uh, I think that might actually be a little bit better. If not, we could probably fill one with the other. Can't remember if we can do that or not. Let's let's check. But I won't start a new sandbox series until that uh, downloadable update happens. And we'll probably just do the sandbox uh, with the downloadable content, whatever whatever region that is and all that stuff. So we'll just wait and see what we got there. We don't need two pots, so we'll drop that. That's a bit redundant. Uh, let's see here. Let's find our things here. Equipped. So I'm going to take this one. Actions refuel. Yeah, I guess we have that. Is, it, is that the jerry can or is it going to be? 
There we go. Wonder if it's gonna be. Yeah. So that's the one we have equipped now. I think the other one is just gonna be. Let me find it here. There we go. Actions. Can I harvest it and get some fuel? Let's see if we can do that. I wonder if it'll give us fuel. Oh, it's gonna take an hour. We'll do that when we get to the end. Might be able to harvest a little bit of fuel out of it, but yeah, we definitely replenished our fuel supply right there. So that's good. I think this is going to be we're getting real close here. Oh, of course, lantern fuel. Hope no yeah, I'm going to leave that line behind. Um, take that bandage. I think we have plenty of bandages. Let's see if we get a stem or something out of here. Disinfectant. I don't really think we need any more of it, so I'm gonna leave that. Okay. We could probably just camp out here and uh, completely recover before we go venturing off through coastal. That was the other thing I kept. I always forgot to mention that you gotta kind of bounce real quick through coastal, go from one cave to another cave or one cave to ravine. So there is that. And it just sort of slipped my mind that you had to go through coastal to get to ravine, so shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward as long as we don't get killed by the bear, which is always a possibility. I can always use got lots food. of energy bars and lots of food and stuff like that, so pretty good shape in that regard. Eh, nothing there. Strike out. What about over here? You guys got le left me anything nice over here? Anything lovely? A flare. Could probably use that on the wolf. I wonder if I had a flare I could have used on that wolf to keep him back. Oh, I bet you I did. I did, didn't I? I didn't have to use the actual flare gun. I had an actual flare on me. Yeah, I had one because I just picked up one. I could have used that. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, well. Um, so... I think what we'll do here is, what, the, what time of day is it? Uh, kind of wonder if we should go for it or not. I think I think what we'll do is we'll probably just sleep here and recover. And then start in the morning. We should have plenty of food. Oh yeah, we can last here for days if need be. A couple days. So, we'll just sleep here. And uh, in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll try to do the... I'll try to take care of the... Uh, lanterns here. See if, uh, which one is equipped? I believe this one is the one that's equipped. Let me go through this way. I think this way showed it, right? Oh, wait. It's not actually equipped. I actually have to have it in hand. Okay. Nope. I just put it away. Uh, I guess I gotta light it. There we go. I just don't want to mix up kill the wrong lantern. I don't think it matters, but if I lose all the fuel and, and the other one doesn't have any fuel, I'd be kind of bummed about that. You can probably tell by the uh, the weight. This one's a little bit heavier. So, anyway. So that indicates more fuel, right? So let's harvest it. See what happens. Damn it. So hungry. Should have probably did some repairs, like clo clothing repairs that requires sunlight, but uh... Okay, I think, I think we got some fuel out of that. We have this can. Now we can use the knife to open up these cans, and we should get a can to cook in. But it doesn't really matter now that we got this pot. So, all right, let's do some repairs to our clothing. And uh, I just want to make sure that... Oh, you know what? I just used an hour's worth of fuel right there. That was another mistake. Okay. Oh, well. It's not going to be that big a deal. Because we got plenty of lantern fuel plus... I'll just fill it up again. Yeah, we got, we got even more fuel now. So, there we go. Completely refueled. That was unnecessary, though. Luckily, this challenge isn't going to last that long, so that shouldn't really... I shouldn't be penalized too badly for that mistake. Uh, I don't really think I need that, but I want to keep it anyway. Let's go to our clothing, see what we have on, see what we can put on. Can I put on anything? No. All right. That's at 96. That's at 66. We can repair that. That's at 93, 88, that's okay, those are okay. 85, 65, we'll probably repair that. So this hat, 
that sweater, uh, definitely the thermal underwear. And the boots if we can. Um, so let's just start at the top and work our way down. Yeah, let's just repair this. Of course. I think we have plenty of cloth for plenty of mistakes. Hopefully we don't have to use it all. Do this sweater. And if worse comes to worse, we can always rip up some of these things. But I figure once I get this repaired, I'm probably going to drop these other shirts. Just for the weight. Because being able to move quickly is going to be a little more important. Yeah, of course. Thought I was going to be successful with that repair, and we weren't. And now we're thirsty. Have a little drink here. Alright, get back to the repairs. My gameplay is a little rusty. Knocking the rust off the off the uh, wheels here. As we get going. By the time I uh, start the uh, sandbox, though, at the end of the year, hopefully I'm back up to my usual speed of just like maybe one or two major mistakes each episode. I don't have any cured leather, huh? Did I bring anything that I that is leather esque. Oh yeah, I can break those down. Get one from there. Maybe we'll get lucky. Only takes ten minutes. Yeah, let's see if we can get lucky and repair these with one piece of leather. Get one chance at it. Ah. That was a bad roll. Alright. Oh well. So that's what we're dealing with. How's our warmth doing now? 8 degrees Celsius, 2 degrees uh, Celsius for the windproof bonus. Protection is 10% and sprint is 96, so that's not too bad. All right. Well, it's starting to get late. We're not quite tired yet, so I might just kill some time here. Maybe get something to eat. Well, you know what? I really don't need to eat right now because we'll definitely top off our health when we go to bed. So I'm just going to chill out here and relax for a while. I'll just go for about four hours there. That should be good. And a quick word from our series sponsor, NordVPN. Do you want to have extra privacy and flexibility while online? Sure, we all do. NordVPN is the leader in internet privacy and allows added flexibility by routing your internet traffic through any of their over 5,400 servers in 60 countries through an extremely intuitive and efficient user interface. In addition, you can access specialty servers for added security such as double VPN, onion over VPN, or P2P VPN servers. But for a casual user like myself, I personally use their proprietary Nord Links protocol for maximum speed. But wait, there's more, such as Kill Switch to automatically turn off your internet if the connection to the VPN server is lost. Or how about this, Split Tunneling, which only routes certain application traffic to the Nord VPN server. There are so many other useful features to explore, and if you are interested, use the link nordvpn.com forward slash accurize2 and the promo code ACT2 for additional savings. Link in the description below. Let the night settle in here. This cave will always stay above freezing as far as I can tell. I've never seen a cave, like a loadable cave, go below freezing. Yeah, we still need a little... Uh, I think that'll be good. Let's just go ahead and go to sleep now. What do you guys want? You want some beans? Pork and beans. Granola bar. Beef jerky. Some condensed milk. I think we go with the condensed milk. <laughs> 750 calories there. Yeah, we got a recycled can out of that one. Should be a bigger can. Look how big it is. Um, new condensed milk. I'm all about sweet milk life. And we're hydrating ourselves like crazy too. This pack all right. is getting kind of heavy. Let's go ahead and have a uh, granola bar. And I'm just going to top myself off. Who cares? Let's go with some chips. Sweet, salty. Nice little combination. Uh, moldy chocolate bar. Eh, I've never been... I don't think I've ever been sick from the moldy chocolate bar, but I'm not going to risk it. 
with so many other options. So let's go with these uh, pork and beans are the exact same. Let's pick one of those. And then we'll drop some of these cans and uh, some of this clothing that I don't need and some of the coal that I don't need. Okay, looks good. So in the meantime, let's uh, hydrate fully here and then we'll get some sleep. And uh, yeah, we're ready to sleep now. Let's try to sleep for about 10. We'll wake up probably before that, but uh, yeah. Should be uh, fully recovered with our health. Hopefully, hopefully this storm passes. Okay, sounds like maybe it did. Don't hear it anymore. Let's go ahead and drink up again. Then we're about ready to make a run for it. As soon as I uh, offload some weight here. So let me grab this before I forget about it. Do I have two bedrolls? Someone said in the comment two bedrolls or something. I might have picked it up. I did. Okay, let's just do it and drop one of those. I could tear it up for cloth, but it's not that hard to find cloth, so not going to bother with that and I'm just going to drop all those because I don't think I'll need those could have probably traded out the simple tools for the other one for the uh, red red one that was back there but I don't feel like going back and getting it it's not going to be that big a deal we got some cloth seven bandages which seems a little extreme then again we're dealing with a bear so maybe not lots of food like too much food almost let me see here let me get rid of that moldy where was it that moldy chocolate bar and that one somehow I have an abundance of those actually get rid of that moldy jerky I've never been poisoned by the jerky either and that energy bar looks a little sketchy so I'm going to drop that one and never been hurt by any sodas no matter what the condition so I'm not, not worried about those either okay let's see what we don't want uh, I don't want the shirt anymore I don't want these socks those those Anything that isn't, doesn't have the triangle up in the uh, corner there. Basically what I'm looking to get rid of. And we'll get rid of those. Now our, what's our weight at now? Oh, sorry. Yeah, 27.84 out of 30. Not bad. We're underweight at least. I have a lot of coal, so I'm going to get rid of a few of these. That should help. Probably get rid of about four of those. Dropped a little bit of weight. Got a lot of wood here, so I'm going to drop, uh, there we go. Drop uh, three of those. We'll keep that book so we can go ahead and start fires real easy. And we have seven tinder plugs. I'm going to drop these in that case. And we got two accelerants in case we need to get fire going real fast in emergency. I still wonder if a, a campfire keeps the bear away. I don't know. Might be good, good information. But uh, I'm not going to experiment with it, at least not right now. So let me go ahead and holster this and kit out our flare gun. Why does it say zero? Am I, oh, I'm down to my last flare. It's in there. Okay. I thought I had one extra. I thought I had one in the tube and one, one extra, but apparently I just had the one. Oh, boy. Here we go. Negative 12 degrees. It's a bit frigid this morning. All right, so we're gonna go that way once we get past these railroad ties or these logs. Oh, there's the bear. Son of a gun. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here and see if I can get him to, uh, I'm gonna pass time. See if I can get him to, uh, I don't wanna use my flare this early, man. Okay. I should be able to sleep for like an hour. He was right there. I was hoping for a wolf, honestly. All right, let's see if we've reset him. Maybe somewhere else. If not, we're just going to have to deal with it. He's going to be set up right there, isn't he? All right. Well, I just got to have to make a run for it. Yeah, he's right there. I'm going to make a run for it. He's got to come around. And I think that there's a... Something down here. Anyway, we'll make a run for it. Yeah, we can get inside here. Okay. 
Good. I was thinking he had to come down and around to get to me from up on that little perch he was at on right there. So, all right, we'll go in here and hang for an hour. Hopefully this doesn't, isn't like allowing him just to catch up to us. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how he, how he works. The sweatshirt. I don't really need that. I get, I don't know. I could use this. Can I really? No, I think what I have is better. Five. Maybe not. Maybe this is better. Let's drop that. Let's put this on. Eh, let's see. I guess. Once I repair it, it'll be better. So. In the meantime, I'm not going to mess around with it too much here. Eh, nothing there. For anything that could help me. A big box of flares would be awesome right now. Oh, some insulated boots. But they slow you down, this. don't they? Hmm. The bulk, their bulk will slow you down. I need, I need the speed more than I need the warmth. Yeah, I don't know why I picked them up. I guess that's just habit. Let me see how much, how bad they are. So that's negative three to your speed. That's negative 12. Ouch. Those are really nice and everything, but man, I don't think it's worth it. So we're going to leave those. Yeah, some driving gloves so we could try to repair our boots again. More simple tools, just some cedar wood. Alright. Okay, have we rested up there a little bit? I don't know. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, try to tear down those gloves and repair these boots. So, let's do that. Let's do another one of these. Let ourselves fully recover. Before we go to go and deal with the next part of the journey here. Okay. See if we can repair them this time. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Well that was nice. Okay. Yeah, a little bit warmer. 0.3 degrees, I think, on each category there. So, alright. Let's drink a little bit more water. Gear up for this. This is so nerve-wracking. Okay, let's give it a shot. Hopefully he's not right outside. Okay. Let's see where this guy's at. Jeez. Let's go. Oh, of course. Oh, it's a wrist. Good. That was going to be my leg. I need my legs. I hear him. Oh, here he comes. Okay, I'm going down in order to get back up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the road and go up the back way. Oh, I do want to search this guy real quick. Please have a flare. Of course not. I don't know if he'll be able to get down here or not. We got wolves over there in the lake. But I'm going to do some distance here. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't even really want to stop and check this car. I want to do a quick peek, see if there's anything worthwhile. Uh, that's a good hat. I don't really need it, though. Let's just keep moving. Give it a little run. I don't really want to drop below 50% with my, with my, my stamina here. In case I need to make a quick getaway. Yeah, I think we'll be safe inside a fishing hut. Even if it doesn't have a door. The fog's really setting in. That doesn't help. Oh, gosh. This is bad. Oh, gosh. 
gosh, man. Oh, man, I hate the fog. You guys know I hate the fog. And here we are. I could be walking right into him. Well, we have a car back there. Follow the power lines, right? Here we go. We're going to be staying here for the night. Oh, home sweet home, baby. Home sweet home. All right, let's loot here. That was... I mean, I'll, I'll wait until the fog's gone. If the fog lifts, that's fine. But... Wow. And plus, we could probably get rid of our uh, sprained wrist, because if we sprain another wrist, we're not going to be able to use the flare gun at all. So... Could end up being useful. Um, nah, I'm pretty happy with what we got. Our 100% ones. Fine. I think that's everything here. Let's bump outside and check the other two couple cabins. Just going from cabin to cabin makes me nervous in the fog. All right, medical kit. That'll come. I don't need another bandage. I'm leaving that behind. We have seven of them. Okay, they're throwing work boots at us like crazy. What I need are some flares. You know what I could do if Ravine doesn't have any. If he doesn't spawn in Ravine, I can go down and get more flares. Right? Wait a minute. Let me think. Yeah, I can go down, and there should be flares down in that, like, railway car or something like that that's down there. At the bottom of the rope. Um, assuming that is... What's down there? Dog food. Is it food, or...? It's food. It's just not meant for human consumption, but I guess it's okay. It's not intended for us, but hey, whatever. All right. Here we go. I might just stay here. Nice bed. Can't have too much water. That's not true. Definitely can have too much water, especially if you can't run from the bear that's chasing you. I got so engrossed in the game, I didn't even introduce the uh, a word from our sponsor. So it might have been a bit abrupt and sudden. I can't remember exactly how the transition would have been. All right. So I think we'll stay here for a little bit until the fog lifts. Let me see what's going on here with the fog. It just set in, so it's probably still pretty nasty out. Oh, the wolf over there that we passed next to the fishing, uh, the fishing hut out there, the ice fishing hut, just like yelped like the, it was scared by the bear. So he's st he's closing in on us from over there. Well, that's good to know. So let's just sleep for an hour, and we gotta. Well, hold on. How much time do we got? We got two more hours for to get rid of the sprain wrist. That's why we have the hate, the sort of like the blurriness on, around the uh, peripheral there. Let's do two hours then. Hopefully, it also allows us to uh, get out from under this fog. Three days, six hours. One hour, one minute left for the pain. Pain I can deal with. Rest of the sprain I can't. <laughs> the wolf's not having a good day. All right, let's do another hour here. There we go. All right, let's go. Check here real quick. This will come. Fire striker, sure, whatever. All right, let's go. There's a wolf out here on the lake. fishing hut over there if we have to make a run for it there should be a car i think up here on the road force comes worse and then there's a cabin a little ways over we should be able to avoid this wolf he's walking away. well maybe not i'm gonna move quick here the nice thing is i don't think i have to worry about the other bear <laughs> the normal bear that patrols this area so i'm gonna kind of take a direct route this way Man, 
man. My, I wonder what my heart rate is right now. It's definitely up there. think. Oh yeah, he's coming up on me. I'm gonna break his line of sight here. It seemed to work a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna get up. See if I can... Oh, shoot. Here he comes. Okay, we're out. We're out. No more. We're going to have to get mauled. I hope that buys us enough time to get out of this area. Ravine will have... Hopefully, hopefully, has what we need. If not, Mystery Lake, I think I can go from safe place to safe place. Oh. Oh. Yeah, my, my pulse is jacked up right now. Okay, just working on and up. I wish I had that extra one that I hadn't spent on the uh, wolf unnecessarily. Some mistakes were made, man. Some mistakes were made. All right, let's let's move a little bit quicker here. Uh, I could stop at this cabin here, but I really don't want to give him a chance to catch back up now that I've activated a flare on him. Bear Creek campground. No kidding. Here he comes. Son of a gun. Come on, is this the one that has the house? He's so pissed right now. Oh, man. He's on me, man. I'm going down. Here's the house. Oh, man. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. <laughs> Oh. oh, I can't take this. This is killing me, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. They're sketchy. Just going to eat what I can. Let's just eat that. And let's just go ahead and drink this while it's here. There we go. Man, I really wish I had a pry bar. What have we here? Another flare. Come on, man. Give me a flare. Give me a flare. <laughs> yeah, probably gonna throw a, a bullet at me or something like that. Give me a give me a rifle round when I really don't need it quite yet. All right, I'm just gonna rest here for an hour. Think happy thoughts. I guess. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know where I need to go. Gee, oh my gosh. Can we get there? I think we can. Oh, let's go ahead and lose a little weight by putting it in our stomach. I don't know how that works, but somehow it seems to work all right. Okay, let's get going. Plenty of energy, so we're not going to get caught flat footed here. we get mauled we might just have to uh heal and stumble our way out to safety okay i'm gonna save my running for when i need it because we don't have that far to go oh there he comes he's coming this way he's coming up over the hill i 
can hear I can hear freedom ahead of us. Oh no. Oh no. Sprained ankle. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Oh, I just gotta get up over this hill and around the corner a couple feet. Will he sense that we're injured? And charge us? I don't know. Oh boy. Oh. Come on. Come on. Get there. Dig, dig, dig. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. You're so close. Come on. Come on. Get through the tunnel. Get through the tunnel. I don't even know why I'm carrying this thing. At this point. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, exit. Oh. Oh. Oh, we made it. Oh. My hand's shaking, man. Yeah, it's alright. That's alright. I'm gonna camp out right here on the freaking... I'm gonna camp out right here on this... Railway. Get rid of this sprained ankle. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just make it to the cave. But there's this uh, rail here where he can't... I don't think he can... Uh, balance beam his way across this. Um, that might be a little... Kind of a good thing we're not... I think we'll, we'll be okay, though. Yeah, see? I camp right here if I have to. Oh my gosh. Watch him up here at the end of this trestle here. Alright. Oh, my nerves are jacked, guys. I don't know how you all are doing, but... Jeez. I certainly made myself a nice, fine mess of a bed to sleep in here. Okay. Yeah, I should... I, I don't think he's going to spawn in this region. If he does, we're in bad shape. I'm probably going to die. <laughs> but. Might just sleep off the sprained ankle here. It's a temp. Negative two. Yeah, we could start a fire. We've got coal right here. Um, and I think maybe if we had the fire going, we'll be all right. This looks like a pretty decent spot, but. Might see me make the world's fastest fire if I see him, because that'll be my only hope to keep him away until I can run again. But I, I don't think it would be fair to really have him in here because, like, ahead of me, because I, I can't get around him. There's no way. Like, it's so tight through here. And that was my concern about going through the, uh, before this, these are transition zones between two major regions. And my concern about going the other way through the Hydra Dam transition zone was it's tight as well and I'm not as comfortable with it as I am with this one so I thought oh heck I just oh that fence freaked me out man I thought it was him right in front of me there spawning to come towards me like right in the middle of the screen there so anyway I'll head down there and try to get some more flares from down there hopefully I know that there's a railroad car that's down there like a caboose, like a yellow caboose, and normally it had a flare gun in, in sandbox and flares. So hopefully, it was like a guaranteed spawn. So hopefully that holds true still, and we can get one, uh, get some more flares down there. I don't think I'll be able to go down a rope with my ankle uh, spring, but that's alright. Because so there will be a, uh, a cave, not this one over here, there's a cave I can stay at over there, but there's a cave over here I'll, I'll stay at. Those of you know who've been watching for a while, see me spend time on in this in this region here, the ravine. Know which uh, cave I'm talking about. Hurts a bit, but I'll make it. The four hours, and it looks like there's some serious weather coming in. So there's no. Are you kidding me? There's no rope going down here. Really? 
No. They've removed the rope. All right, let me go hit this uh, box here real quick. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to juke my way across Mystery Lake then. Uh, but it's going to be on healthy ankles, I'll say that much. No way. They removed the rope. Oh, those sneaky sons of guns. All right. All right. I see what you've done. I think I need to go this way, actually. Well, how do I get up there again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me up here. Let me up here. Shouldn't be this hard. There we go. I just didn't try hard enough. Oh, man. I bet you the yellow caboose is right down there, too. Right there it is. Yep, right there. That's what I want to get to. But I can't. Because there's no mountain rope going down there. Like it always is in... Sandbox. Hmm. Well. I'm beginning to have regrets about my life right now. Uh, let's go double check. Make sure it just wasn't like something that wasn't, you know... Like it was clipping or something. Like I couldn't see it. Oh, man. Right here is where it should be tied in. Yeah. I just want to go down there. I mean, after I heal my ankle. I need what's in there. To make uh, make my life so much better. Well, let's go uh, lick our wounds here in this cave. At least we know this yeah. zone is safe. We have plenty of rabbits to eat, too. <laughs> we have plenty of food. Plenty of rabbits. Plenty of everything. Yeah, we'll be we'll be spending the night here. I think maybe we could go head out head on over. And, well, I don't really want to spawn him in quite yet. I don't want to have him lurking right outside the hydro dam. I'd rather be able to hit the ground running. Completely skip that area if I need to. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's a flare gun in the hydro dam. Maybe there is. Maybe there is there one in the office area where all the control the control room. That I can't remember. That I cannot remember. All right. It takes a lot longer to walk here when you're limping like crazy. Moving at like 80% 80% speed or something like that. No running available. Good old glass ankles. That's a deer, don't worry. <laughs> you heard the footsteps, yeah. You're probably like, oh my god, someone's coming after you. It's just a deer. Alright. Wow, it's Feels really like dark night. in here. Feels like night's coming. Yeah, it is. Totally is. So you get back here, it gets warmer a little bit, and we'll go ahead and uh, bed down here for a bit. I'm just going to do like little sleeps through the night so I don't freeze to death, and then I can make a fire if I need to. But uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and eat. finish these off I guess don't really need to eat that much but the less we have to carry around the better all right I'm gonna drop Do I have any pain meds no not that I really need them I'm just curious yeah I do six of them I don't know if I really need them might need that stem short burst of energy then you collapse from exhaustion use it as the last resort so that's not good we got this little energy drink provides a boost to stamina reduces fatigue for a short while good for energy when tough spot in tough spots but distracting headaches may follow so may follow i don't know if that means it's guaranteed or not i'm not going to use these water pills uh, we're just going to drop those all right and then we have some cans here that we don't need anymore. Drop that, that, and that. Okay. Well, let's grab a couple hours of sleep. See how the temperature is when we wake up. I do need to get a drink, though, before I sleep too much. There we go. 
healed from pain. That's good. Still got one more hour of sprained ankle. How's the temp? Feels like, oh, so the cave's getting a little chilly. We're just going to go two hours at a time then. If it drops too much, we can start a fire and keep it going. There we go. No afflictions. Good deal. It's starting to get cold, but our, our bed will warm us up to a safe level, so we should still be fine. Not tired enough. All right, well, that figures. And what time is it? It's right in the middle of the night. Uh, so I'm just going to kill time here. Because I do like to travel it during the daytime. You can see just a little bit better. Keep an eye on the temperature. Yeah. Do another couple hours here. Keep an eye on that temperature. Still safe. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, negative eight. Um, it's going to be cold. So let's go ahead and start a fire. Have that going next to the bed. Yeah, let's play with the, with the fire starter. Sure. Should have plenty of... Yeah. I thought I had a... Uh, oh, this is to start the fire. I was going to say, I thought I had coal, but that's right. It won't let you, let you see the coal since you can't actually use it to start the fire. So let's go ahead and do this. Man, <laughs> escaping from uh, coastal made me nervous. Well, that didn't. Work. I was going to take a different route, but uh, that one seemed to be safer once the bear was kind of up, up high, in the mountains with me. I kind of had to go low down to the road to get away from him initially, and then at that point, I figured I'm just going to stay down low because I can get into some of these houses pretty quick. Come not, on. not risk having to deal with a wolf in front of me and a bear behind me. Some of those switchbacks um, that lead back up to the tracks. It's kind of notorious for that. Alright, there we go. So let's uh, add some wood here. There's our coal. That'll really up the heat output as well. There we go. We're going to get four hours worth. And that should take us easily into the morning. So four hours and 41 minutes. So I'm just going to lay down here. Get some more sleep. Warm up. Stay warm. I don't know how long we can sleep. We won't sleep that long, but we'll wake up before that. All right, very good. Fully rested. It's daytime. Still got the campfire roaring in case we need to come back. All right, get another drink. Get ready to get into our last region here, Mystery Lake. Let's see if we can make it to the... Yep, no afflictions. Life is good, etc., etc. There's our deer, making all kinds of crunching noises that cause alarm. All right, so it's going to be a series of foot races. I'm trying to think of all the different places I can stop along the way. I can use flares to keep wolves back, so I can pretty much... Hmm, I, I wonder if the rail cars would be safe. Not sure. I think I'll probably just go through clear cut. I think. Might be the safest option. So. Because they got unnamed cabin. And all that. I think we'll be able to make it. I'm just trying to think of which which way would Looks be like the... I survived another night. Which way will be the best where I can have consistent spots to stop if I need to. Uh, the hunting stand I could use. The trailers. Hunting stand. Trailers unnamed cabin. Hunting stand. It's going to be tough. Alright, no need to run. Save your... Might as well get the flare out in case I need a Juka wolf all right I'm gonna check the uh, the uh, control room here I think I hear him back oh that's a wolf will they not let me they won't let me shut that oh that's so interesting isn't it 
Okay, so that wolf just got intimidated by the bear over there. So we'll head over here to the Hydra Jam. So it looks like the bear could come right in. I bet. Bet you that's why that's stuck open. I've never seen that like that before. I normally can open and close that gate. Hmm. Things are interesting. Oh, hopefully there's not a Fluffy the Bear in here. Pretty sure there isn't. So there's, uh, there might be some flares in here. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. It's nothing like this. Food. Maybe in the safe. There's a safe over here. That might be worth checking out. One flare would just make me feel so much... Not that kind of flare. Jeez. I will take it, though. Just in case. Alright, let's see if we can find something. That was like... What was that, like 18? 17. Okay. Thirty-five ish. Seventeen, thirty-five. Okay. Shoot. Let's try this again. Yeah, more like thirty-six. Oh, and then forty something. Okay. I got it. All right, come on, baby. Hope <laughs> I don't want anymore. those. Leave it. Book. That's it. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Well, let's try it. Oops. Excellent. Well, I guess I'll take it. Drink it here in a minute. What happened there? Oh, there we go. That was weird. It completely, like, froze up there for a second. Okay. And what about over here? Work boots? Trail boots, yeah. Uh, Summit Soto. I can't remember if I've ever seen, like, loose flares inside drawers like this or not. Of course, there's a lot of things that are unique in this particular challenge map, like that gate being left open. Not going to bother with those. Just kind of quickly looking through here. I don't want to spend too much time. Because I, I could spend, like, almost a whole episode looting this entire place. And I'm pretty sure that there's... The odds of finding something like that are pretty low. Yeah, we'll take the cured leather, sure. There's a couple uh, lockers over here. I'll check these. Yeah, of course. Of course. Let me see. Just want to make sure there's nothing hidden under these stairs. There's that. Uh, nope, not really. Okay. Well, let's get going. I've delayed the inevitable long enough, I think. Maybe this is like a security office, <laughs> like desk. Maybe he's got flares. I could go for a mountain rope, actually. Climb my way back down there. Hit that. Alright, I'm not going to bother with this anymore. I feel like I'm striking out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Alright. There's a truck there. Which way is this wind blowing? Is it blowing right at me? It's gonna slow me down a lot. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna go inside this trailer and wait for this wind to pass. It feels like weather's gonna get bad here. Alright. Some coffee. Don't need that. Pickle peaches. goodness more, more spray paint yeah, if you never had enough spray paint okay well I wasn't gonna sleep in here but I guess I will I'll just sleep on the floor now let's sleep see what happens with the weather because it felt like a storm was moving in and it would have been really hard to walk the direction we needed to walk like we would have been walking very slow right now I need all the speed I can All right. See a deer over here. See a wolf over there. There should be a caboose up here. Oh, there he is. Son of a gun. Yep, he's coming. And yeah, we're just going to hang out here for another hour. Okay. I might have to go across the lake just to get to the Mr. Lake cabin. It's going to be like a wide open area though. And we could lick our wounds at the Mr. Lake cabin if we had to. Let's try it again. See if he posts back up on this bridge if that's going to be his thing. I'm going to take a peek this way. Yep, he's on that bridge. He's coming. Yeah, he's coming this way. I'm going to go this way first. See if we can... We got a wolf here. Yeah. Good with that. Good luck with that, brother. We got a uh, little hut we can hang out up in here. Might just have to do that. Let's see. Yep. Enjoy that, brother. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I got a wolf and a bear after me now. Oh yes. What a great life. Oh man, this episode has been extremely nerve-wracking. If I make it out of this alive, I'm going to be pretty happy. Pretty happy. Get back. Get back. Yeah, you stay back. He's trying to sneak up on me. Did you see that? Okay, getting some getting some leg power built back up here. Get my stamina going. I can always do a drink too. If I have to. Emergency stem or the uh, Go Energy drink. Like the wolf gave up, which doesn't. Uh, I don't really like how I got myself in this little bit of a canyon here, or this little riverbed. I feel like he's gonna be waiting for me. Oh, shoot, here he comes. Oh, he's, he's got me. Yeah, I'm going to be injured. Yep, 
need to hide behind a tree or something. Ah, oh, oh, he got me. Ah, oh, guys. Oh, we're going to be injured again. At least we're 100% health. Oh, man, I thought I had him at that tree. Maybe I should have just held it, hang, hung out at the tree. Ah, oh, gosh. I was trying to get behind another tree and just kind of leapfrog back, but... All right, let's get going. Emergency stem time. You got stem. Get the the blood flow stopped. I'm gonna bleed out soon. Okay, so we're gonna use some that on the infection, and then we're gonna use this on the injury. And then I'm gonna use this to get going. We gotta go. I think the cabin's right over here. That's so close. Might have to use an emergency stem. What did I just rip? Oh, my cotton toque is just worn out. Oh my gosh, there's the, there's Mystery Lake Cabin. I need to get there. Can we do it, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I just need to get in there. If I can do that, we can recover fully. We'll be okay. Go. Push, push, push. Dig, dig, dig. Dig deep. We're going to make it. We're going to make it, guys. We're going to make it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, guys. Okay. I need to stop just to... I'm shaking. I am shaking. All right, guys, we're safe. We will get healed up. Uh, we'll do an inventory check in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please subscribe. My uh, subscription numbers have kind of plateaued here recently, and I would really, really appreciate a nice little bump there. It might, it might, it might help calm my nerves. <laughs> All right. So you all take care. I will see you in episode three. I honestly hope that episode three is a little less um, nerve wracking. I know it's probably entertaining, but geez, I don't know if I can take it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Y'all take care.